Comic Con's a real home away from home because it's like all my interests I have at home and all the all the video games and all the entertainment I have. At Comic Con, it's like totally intensified. Like it's gone up to a whole entire level. It's like I can have the same comfort with my interests at home, but I can share with other people at Comic Con, which makes it an even greater experience. What's really special about this documentary is that we've been, for instance, eighth grade, and so just seeing the appreciation he has for filmmaking and just seeing how far he's come along in the career he wants to be and being a part of that is like one of the greatest things you could ever, you know, have happen to you. Just sharing the experience with your friend and his success, that's just fantastic. Comic-Con has become a home away from home for me because every year I go back I realize just how many other people there are there that share the same interests as me. They understand and it's like we speak the same language, we're all on the same level and a lot of times it's the first time I've ever met any of these people. The weirdest thing that I've seen there, uh, there was a booth and it had a lot of plush toys of STDs and there was like AIDS and herpes and all kinds of weird stuff and we're like what the heck is going on here? And we walk in and there's a dad and he's got, he's got his little girl on his shoulders and she's like, what's this one, what's that one? And we're just like thinking to ourselves like, oh my gosh. Over the years, it's made me kind of realize that that place is humbling in a way too because you're around so many different people including celebrities and everything and they're just walking the floor just like other people, other, other fans fangirling over the same things you are. I think if comic book conventions were to close for good, I would open up a giant comic book shop, cafe, just so that way there would still be somewhere people could go to, to kind of have that same feeling and being around the same people. Because I think with all of those subcultures and those interests, it's like those fans need an outlet to to spend time with the other fans. It's just, it makes it so much better. I've looked online all the time whenever I get back from Comic-Con to see, you know, what films people have made of Comic-Con covering it or just showing, showcasing different things. And every time I would look at those, I'd always feel like nobody's capturing this event right in my eyes. It, it's got so much more that can be captured. And this film feels like an homage to Comic-Con. Like I can give back to it in some way and pay it respect in a way that not many other filmmakers do. Generation stuck in the past. Guess you haven't lost the meaning of what's a revolution.